How good will the 3080 be for mining after we can no longer mine Ethereum? Well, I've tested it on over 25 different coins, so let's have a look. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram, and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto, or your personal information. All right, so please be careful, use your common sense, and don't let any of these imposters fool you. All right, now back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here, and of course, nobody can know exactly what will happen to mining after the end of Ethereum. But if you want my best prediction, I actually have a video about that, and I'll leave a link to that up in the corner there, as well as in the description of this video. But in short, we're going to have to mine other coins. And having great mining efficiency, meaning getting the most hash rate possible per watt of power used, is going to be very important for mining profitability. So that's why I've tested the 3080 Ti on 8 coin mining algorithms, which are used by over 25 of the most profitable coins to mine right now. And of course I've tested them to find both the highest possible hash rate as well as the best possible power efficiency. And I do all my testing using my PMD device which lets me measure the exact power consumption of the GPU as the reported power consumption in the software can often be incorrect. So in this video we're gonna have a look at hash rate, wattage, overclock settings as well as current profitability for all of these coins. But first a quick word from our sponsor. Wadom. If you want to get into proper Bitcoin mining, then Wadom has you covered. From the latest ASIC miners, mobile mining containers and power transformers, to complete hosting services and even full facility build-outs. Wadom is the largest distributor of Bitcoin mining equipment in the United States, with a team of over 100 mining experts ready to help you out. So check them out through wadom.io forward slash seb or in the link in the video description. Now quickly before we get into it, I just want to talk about overclocking for a little bit because I will be showing you my overclock settings in this video. However, while those numbers can be a good starting point, just know that they will not be the perfect settings for your specific 3080 Ti. And that's because every GPU is individual and need their own unique overclock settings. So if you want to find the perfect overclock settings for your GPU, I actually have a video of my full workflow for overclocking any NVIDIA GPU for mining any coin. And I'll leave a link to that up in the corner there as well as in the description of this video. But with that out of the way, let's have a look at the results. All right, I'm over on the computer and I have the spreadsheet with all of my hash rate results open here. And I will leave a link to this spreadsheet in the description of this video. If you want to make changes to it, you just hit file, make copy, and you should be able to make changes. But let's have a look here. So first off, we have the ETH hash algorithm, which is for coins like Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, or any other coin that uses an ETH hash variant algorithm. So as we can see here, highest possible hash rate we were able to get was 121 0.4 mega hash and the best possible uh, efficiency was by just going down a tiny bit to 121.1 mega hash where we were consuming only 300 watts for an efficiency of 0.404 mega hash per watt you can see all of my overclock settings over here now our next algorithm is progpow or any progpow variant and that's used by coins like ravencoin zero neoxa or fero and as we can see here, the best possible hash rate here at 56.4 mega hash also gave us the best possible efficiency uh, using 353 watts for an efficiency of 0.16 mega hash per watt. As you can see, all the overclock settings there, of course. Now, moving on, we have the auto Lycos algorithm, which I believe is only used by Ergo so far. And the best possible hash rate we were able to get was 271.6 mega hash or going down to 242 mega hash. We got the best possible efficiency pulling 212 watts for an efficiency of 1.142 mega hash per watt. And next up we have Flux, which uses the Zell hash algorithm, which I believe is a Equihash variant algorithm. So these results should be similar on other coins that use a Equihash variant algorithm. And as we can see here, Highest possible hash rate was 108 solutions per second or going down a bit to 99 solutions per second is when we reach the best efficiency on this card, pulling 289 watts for an efficiency of 0.34 solutions per watt. Now I will have to say that so far, just in terms of pure hash rate, the 3080 Ti is a total badass. Kind of like you could look like a total badass wearing our official GPU heads merch. Available at gpuheadswithaz.com. Check it out, guys. Link in the description. And next up, we have Conflux, which uses the Octopus algorithm. And highest hash rate we were able to get was 108.4 mega hash, or 
just going down a tiny bit to 107.9 mega hash we got the best possible efficiency we were able to get at 354 watts which gave us an efficiency of 0.305 mega hash per watt and our next algorithm is kryptonite gpu and the coin i tested to test this algorithm basically was conceal and as you can see here our best possible hash rate was 5570 hashes and the best efficiency we got by going down to 4790 hashes per second uh, which which pulled 258 watts for an efficiency of 18.59 hashes per watt. And up next we have Bitcoin Gold which uses the Zhash algorithm. And the best hash rate I was able to get there was 200 solutions per second. Or going down to 185 solutions per second I got the best possible efficiency for this card. Where it pulled 309 watts for an efficiency of 0.598 solutions per watt. And finally we have Eternity which uses the Cuckoo Cycle algorithm. So these results should be the same for any coin that uses the cuckoo cycle algorithm best hash rate i was able to get was 12.7 or going down a bit to 10.8 i was able to get the best possible efficiency where it pulled 247 watts for an efficiency of 0.0437 now what i've done next is i've plugged all of these numbers into what to mine to see what the profitability is but first, after watching this video, if you feel like the 3080 Ti is the GPU you want to get, I will leave some affiliate links in the description to the best deals I could find on Amazon for the models of the 3080 Ti that I would get for mining. Alright, so I'm on what to mine here, which is a website that lets you plug in your hash rates as well as your power consumptions. And then it tells you how much money you would make mining different coins, basically. So starting with a power cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour, don't worry, we'll test higher power costs as well. Uh, let's see how much money we can make mining on a 3080 Ti as of today. Of course, this changes every day, but let's have a look what it is today. So I'm just going to hit calculate here. And as we can see, the most profitable coin to mine on a 3080 Ti as of today is actually Neoxa at $2.12. We then in second place have Ethereum at $1.93. Now those numbers are profit, meaning how much you actually get after you have paid for the power consumption. Now I'm going to go down the list here. I'm not going to read out all of these numbers. You can read them on the screen right now. But as you can see, we have a good number of coins that are definitely profitable on a 3080 Ti as of today with only one coin uh, unprofitable which is Equilibria. Now let's go back to the beginning of the page and change our power cost to 20 cents per kilowatt hour and hit calculate. And as you can see we still have Neoxa at the top there but since Neoxa uses the core power algorithm which uses a bit more power than Ethereum mining you can see that with the higher power cost the difference between Ethereum and Neoxa is not as big anymore. Now I'll scroll down, you can have a look at all the coins here and how profitable they are. And we can see that there are now quite a few coins that aren't profitable uh, mining with a power cost of 20 cents per kilowatt hour. But let's see what we get with 30 cents per kilowatt hour. And paying 30 cents per kilowatt hour you can see that then Ethereum is actually more profitable than Neoxa. And as I said, that is because Neoxa uses more power than Ethereum. You can see we still have a couple of coins here that are still profitable to mine. But as we go down the list here, you can see that most of them are not profitable to mine uh, with a power cost of 30 cents. So that's it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. And if you really liked it, you can now join the channel to help support what I do here. It really does make a big difference and it means a lot to me. So thank you. And as an added bonus, if you do decide to join, you also get access to our private Discord chat room. I love talking with you guys in there. But what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of those videos on the screen. Because this video is over. You can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on one of those videos and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye-bye.